Okay, we're going to talk about uh, how to rig your corded mouse cord for less drag. So, the issue is, is if you look at the mouse here, I have a Mamba, and there are some things you can get with Mamba, and I did a video before uh, where we actually put a, um, a clothes pin, and I'll uh, have a link for that video, but we actually put a clothes pin on the, uh, on the charger here, the Mamba, like that and uh, hold the cord that way but in this case I don't really have a whole lot of room um, because if I do that then it, of course it hits the speaker or hits the, the monitor here so um, they have another device uh, uh, from Mamba which is actually a stand that comes up and uh, you put your cord up here and hook on it and then you can move back and forth but it's 20 bucks if you don't have 20 bucks or if you don't want to spend 20 bucks on just a simple hanger so here's a cheap man's version and it works actually quite well um, and I'm not an engineer or anything but uh, it took me a couple minutes I kinda of figured it out so what you do is, is I'll take it apart here is you take a piece of uh, take a piece of cardboard and as you can see I just cut a little slot you can see I cut a little slot right there okay uh, it looks like an L and then on the other side and it's kind of angled so on the other uh, the other side you cut another slot which is in the corner okay um, which also looks like an L and then uh, when you make your crease in the cardboard you make your crease from about halfway down you don't crease this part so much okay because that acts as a, as a lever so uh, let me put it back in there hold on just a second here I gotta set this camera down okay so I'm gonna stick it back in here like that okay and then you just so you see it's uh, uh, and basically how it works is the cord comes up it's it's uh, it's it comes through the first gap there okay and then through the second gap and I have it wrapped up in some paper towel because I just <clears throat> I'm so worried about it rubbing you know the cord here and then here I have I have another uh, paper clip with some paper towel and I just uh, you don't have to have this but I just prefer to have it because I don't want it laying on top of the other cord so then when you move it okay you can see if I did this right here you can see that when you move it Okay, um, this basically takes up most of the movement here. Okay, um, because it's uh, it's like I said, it acts as a lever. It acts as a as a uh, it puts tension uh, against it. So and then and then this takes up the rest of the slag. So this part of the cord down here doesn't move. Okay, all right. It doesn't move. It's just this part here, uh, and this part right here moves just a little bit, but this part down here doesn't move at all. Okay, and then of course you know you can you can move it like this, and it all works perfectly. Okay, and it saves you it saves you from spending twenty dollars. Um, and the other thing is is that when you want to put it in your charger, you just unplug it here and put it in your charger, and the cord is long enough, and then you can do your mouse. However. I mean, you can move it around without the cord. So um, that's the cheap man's version. And uh, uh, I thank you very much for watching. And I hope that... Uh, oh, by, I did want to mention the piece of cardboard that I used uh, actually was the back side of this notepad here. I just used the cardboard that was on the, on the back side of it. Okay. Um, and so anyway, so that's the... That's the Poor man's version. It works great. Saved me $20. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.